Today on Prickulous I will showcase my newest purchases of Lego. It's a little haul video. I hope you're excited and see you soon. Ciao! First, let's start with the Pricklink purchases. Let's start with the first package. These are parts which I will need for my LEGO UCS X-Wing mock. I will not tell you too much, but these are several white as well as some gray and light bluish gray pieces, as well as some yellow Technic pieces, which I will use for my new LEGO UCS X-Wing add-on. These are just some pieces which I picked up um, on accident, but <laughs> let's see what I can use them for. Yeah, you can never have too much pieces. Yeah, that's it for the first one. Let's start off with the second package from Pricklink. This must be MIDI R2D2. He's pretty expensive, I must say. I picked them up for around 17 bucks. I actually just needed this piece since I want to use them in my add-on for the UCS X-Wing as well. Um, but I got them in total for 17 since no one sells only the headpiece. It is a nice pickup, but overall a little bit too expensive. Moving on with a bigger package. These are just some random colored leaf parts for structuring and detailing. Actually, I'm planning to use them in a mock, which I'm in the making right now. It has several translucent pieces, as well as some nice green flower stems. These ones I can use as algae. And here are some nice leaves and plant parts, those classic Lego brushes. And here are some nice yeah, translucent tiles as well. These ones I think are pretty nice, very vibrant, in a unique color for sure. I want to use them in a very nice way, which you're going to see later this week. Other than that, they're just some basic gray pieces with studs. But most importantly, these pieces are very expensive. These are used for mushrooms. Um, I will show you guys. I bought a s some of these. The red ones were pretty expensive. I think like one or two euros or dollars uh, per piece. These ones also like 90 cents per piece. I picked up a few of those. They're very useful and I'm glad that I picked them up and I will use them in a mock. Um, so stay tuned guys. Let's continue with another package, which is also sent from Pricklink. This one is packed in a LEGO City bag, and if I open it, it contains another bag, which is from Legoland. And this bag contains some pieces which I ordered for a mock of mine. These ones I will use for mountain work. And here are some nice translucent tiles. I think about 200 in total. I'm happy to have those. Also these ones, quite less than those. Um, and also some nice pieces which I will use for something very special yeah okay guys and this one is the biggest one of them I'm not sure how many pieces are in there but there are quite a few uh, these ones for example some nice black plates which I will use for the crown structure and as well as some other several crown and gray pieces and you will see soon enough for what I will use them. But as for now, I gotta keep quiet.
Let's continue with a set from Amazon. This one is a Lego Star Wars set. It is the 75336 The Scythe. I picked it up with a discount of 10 euros for about 60 bucks, 60 euros. Um, it was a good deal, so I picked it up cheap. And I think it will retire this year, so it is a pretty good deal. Next up, another set which I always wanted to get and finally did. Since it was discounted for like 35 bucks, I picked it up on Toys for Fun. And this one is a very nice set which will probably go up in value a lot when it retires. I think it retires end of this year. And it has very nice minifigures. Uh, those 187th Legion Clone Troopers as well as Mace Windu with arm printing. Uh, which they didn't do in the UCS gunship <laughs> as well as two battle droids and I think this one is a very good set especially for this cheap price which I got it for coming up next this is a battle pack the Neo 332 Ashoka clone trooper battle pack I picked it up to save for the shipping costs coming with this set I think it's a pretty nice set. I picked it up for around 17 bucks. I think it will probably go down in a couple of next months coming. Um, but nonetheless, I think it's a pretty good set just to have. And yeah. And last but not least, I picked up the 75333 Obi-Wan's Kenobi Jedi Starfighter. I mainly picked it up because I liked the Tone Wii minifigure and we never got a Kaminoan figure before. And um, just to have it laying around, I think it's a pretty good set. And when it retires, it could go up in value as well. That was it for my LEGO haul video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. I'm already in the making of a new mock and the video will release shortly. Leave a like and drop a comment down below and have a nice time. Bye.